Two smartphone screens are better than one, at least that's according to the Yota Phone 2. It's an Android phone with a 5-inch LCD display on one side and a touchscreen e-ink display on the other. Now that might sound a little bizarre, and I'd agree with you to be honest, but the idea isn't as daft as it might seem at first. LCD screens use a lot of power, but as e-ink screens only use power when it refreshes what's on the screen, they're much more efficient. The rear screen works a lot like Android. It can show four panels that you can swipe between, each displaying information like the weather, your RSS feeds, the time, incoming notifications, and can also give shortcuts to apps or your favorite contacts. More useful, though, is its ability to mirror the regular Android interface. Yotaphone doesn't have a great selection of its own apps that use the back screen, but by mirroring, you can use the Kindle app for your eBooks or keep a Google Maps route displayed on the back for as long as you need without draining the power. It's not suitable for watching videos or playing games, but if you do spend your commute reading eBooks, you'll almost certainly find it very handy. If you're on your way to an unfamiliar location with only 2% battery remaining, you can quickly take a screenshot of your map and put it on the e-ink screen. Even when the phone dies completely, that screenshot will still be there, so you'll still be able to find your way. It's actually the second generation Yota phone, and this version makes a whole bunch of improvements over its predecessor. Its design is considerably improved, and specs have been given a much needed boost to include a nippy quad-core processor, a full HD LCD display, and an 8 megapixel camera. Its price puts it along smartphone top dogs like the Galaxy S5, the iPhone 6, and the Sony Xperia Z3. Now, doing battle against these guys is difficult enough even for established names, let alone for an unknown Russian brand. Its rear screen, though, is a unique feature, and while it won't appeal to everyone, it's likely to find some fans among the book-loving crowd. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and this is the Yota Phone 2.